Shalom everyone, I'm going to do a video each week with regards to Pirkei Avot, the ethics of the fathers. In fact, interestingly enough, between Pesach to Shavuot, every Shabbat, we read a perek, a chapter, every week on the Shabbat morning service, a Shacharit service, just at the culmination of it. And actually, last week, a week ago, we read chapter Aleph, number, perek number one of Pirkei Avot, ethics of the fathers. It comprised of different Mishnayot, different teachings, which we can apply to our day-to-day -day lives. Very, very interesting, which everyone can learn. I'm going to concentrate on chapter one, the 15th Mishnah inside of it, which is a teaching from uh, the sage Shammai, the great sage Shammai, who says, one should make every day a fixed uh, time for Torah study. They should also uh, say little, but do a lot. And the third thing is he advises in this Mishnah is one should give a friendly countenance when they see other people. So I think it's the most beautiful Mishnah that possibly could be, potentially, because it's teaching so much with using such little words. But let's look at it. For example, set a uh, fixed time every day for Torah study that people in uh, modern day, especially secular people, could say, they could argue back, I've got no time, I'm working all day, I'm on the train the whole day, I'm working hard, busy earning money, I've got no time to do anything. But all the more so, if one has a fixed time for Torah study every day, they're going to realize how much extra time in the day they're going to have. Even 10 minutes, one hour it could be, it could be even two minutes to learn something small. It could be even longer. One might end up feeling they've got a few hours a day to do. However, one should have that fixed time a day. It's fixed, not all over the place, but fixed time where they learn Torah study. If they're not doing it, I strongly recommend for everyone listening out there, if people aren't learning at all during the day. The second thing he says to analyze inside this uh, beautiful Mishnah is that one should say little and do a lot. That very much uh, encompasses Avram Avinu, Abraham, our forefather, who very much said very little but did a lot, did so much chesed. We saw when he, he uh, fed the angels, the malachim that came in Parshat Vayera. You know, that's a sign of someone. It's not all talk, blah, 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 doing, saying all this stuff. It just does, 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 does chesed, chesed, chesed. That's what we should try to emulate, not to be just full of talk and uh, full of glory and everything else and not deliver. We've got to deliver. That is the main thing. And the third thing is, it's to treat, to uh, give a friendly countenance to everyone we meet. And that's very important. Just by being nice to other people, smiling at other people, it reflects very well and make, can make someone feel chirpy and feel good about their day and everything else. It's so, so important. People could have been in a bit bad, very, very bad mood. So many people could be. But just greeting, going out of your way to greet another person, especially if you see them in a bad mood, it can change their day totally and then they will treat other people well it's got like a uh, ripple effect to it and we see that very much in the Masechet the Brachot in page number 17 it relates over Rav Yochanan ben Zakkai that he was the learning Torah everywhere he went but at the same time he was the first to greet everyone in the marketplace it's such so so powerful I conclude with the story within regards to friendliness I mean nice to other people and courteous there's one time on the train line uh, a conductor that was working for many, many years inside there. Could, could seem like a boring or exciting job or whatever. And one time there was a religious man that was speaking to his friend and got off the train line. And then he told the friend, wait a minute, I've got to thank the conductor for the ride. So he went to the conductor and thanked him very much graciously with a great smile. And then the conductor was well, blown away. He said, I've been working for 30 years on this line. No one's ever bothered to thank me for my services over here and you're the first one with a big smile and he actually wasn't a religious man and became religious because of that he saw the action he did i heard this from rabbi david kaplan uh a rabbi and uh he said over this story and that's the impact that one can have by doing good so three advisors incredible advice is portrayed on this pirkei avot it is to set a fixed time for torah study it is to say a li little but do a lot and also to be friendly to other people guys have an awesome day Shavuot and enjoy the pure care Bye.